The profit motive has been the driving force back of the growth of American industry. American system of free enterprise will give the young people of today the freedom of opportunity to develop ideas which will make a better way of life for the children of tomorrow. Yeah, my name is Ty Moore, and I uh, work with Socialist Alternative. It's a national organization, and uh, we have uh, three branches here in the Twin Cities. Our political premise is that you know, most of the major problems that exist in society um, are the byproduct of capitalism or that, you know, the profit motive uh, that warps our priorities, warps our politics, warps our culture, warps our media, are uh, blocking the solutions to the basic problems people face, be that poverty, be that lack of health insurance, be that, you know, unjust wars for oil. So our members are involved in a whole host of different uh, campaigns from solidarity with the upcoming SEIU strike, to organizing in the high schools against military recruiters, to uh, uh, organizing the Ford plant to try and prevent uh, the only auto plant in the Twin Cities from being shut down in a couple years. Um, and you know, my job as a, as a local staff person for the organization is to try and coordinate these work, these different struggles, to offer advice. Um, offer solidarity to, to, to our members or to our supporters who are, who are working in a lot of different fields. Yeah, our newspaper uh, Justice is uh, put out every couple months and I play a role on our national editorial board. Um, what Justice does is it provides a, a socialist analysis of the contemporary problems. So, you know, why was healthcare not passed? You know, what is our position on Obama's health care plan? Why is single payer off the table? Uh, why is Obama escalating more troops in Iraq when many people thought he was going to be an anti-war president? And, you know, trying to provide a program for activists, uh, working class activists and young people to uh, be able to fight uh, against the injustices they face every day and they see around them. Um, so we see justice as a, uh, you know, our newspaper as a way to, uh, communicate with wider layers of workers and young people, get our ideas out there, but also as, you know, hopefully providing a guide to action um, to people who want to change things. And I think what it comes down to is real change never comes about based on which of the two big business parties are in the White House, whether it's a little bit more liberal one, a little bit more conservative one. It comes about who uh, is, you know, active in the streets. We're seeing dramatic changes in the world uh, right now. We're seeing, I think, the U.S. having gone one stage being the biggest creditor nation in the world, the biggest debtor nation in the world. Um, but the economic uh, foundations for the political stability of U.S. capitalism have been severely undermined. And I think now, really, more than any time in U.S. history, there is an opportunity to see a substantial break to the left from the Democratic Party. Well, a lot of people, uh, I think feel pretty helpless right now, feel you know, they tried to vote for their guy, they've tried to change things that way, they've seen demonstrations uh, against the war, and it seems like nothing changes no matter what you do. But I would just appeal to people to, you know, have a little bit of a broader view, look at history again and again and again. Social movements, ordinary people just like you have banded together with people just like you and stood up and fought for a change, and it's been achieved. It takes time, it's not easy. But I would appeal, you know, to get involved, to start, you know, reading your history, um, pay attention to politics, even when it's demoralizing, um, and most important, find yourself a group of co-thinkers, people who you can, uh, you know, have regular discussions with, find solidarity with, and, uh, and step into the political field. If you're interested, if you like the ideas of socialism or want to explore uh, getting involved in socialist alternative, we are always welcoming new members. Um, at regular meetings each week in St. Paul and Minneapolis. Um, and you can contact us uh, by going to our website, socialistalternative.org.